Goyle has over the years been a shining example for many state-owned enterprises. Its myriad of investments attest to this. As part of its growth strategy, Goyle is making inroads in the road sector and has thus set up an ultra-modern bitumen plant in Terma. The bitumen project is a manifestation of Goyle's commitment to diversification. We have seen the quality, we have seen the commitment, and we don't have any doubt in our mind that there's a good project on hand. Based upon critical considerations, the construction of Gore's bitumen plant, which is about 99% complete today, started a couple of years ago. Goyal decided to go into bitumen, and the result of that thinking is what you see here. One of the major challenges of every government in this country is road construction, because the raw bitumen, we import them from outside the country, spending precious foreign exchange. Goal, we are going to produce it the highest quality so that our roads will be durable, so that future roads in Ghana will go beyond two generations, three generations, so that we may not have to spend our scarce resources on building roads and maintenance and that. In order to compete with the best always, Goyle sought world-class expertise in the design and construction of the bitumen plant. We are very satisfied with the level of quality we have uh, given to, to Goyle and, uh, and their plant. Of course, we have followed standards, specification, and uh, everything went through our quality department and the project team, which has do a great job so far. And looking around, uh, I guess, in West Africa, this technology is nowhere else to be seen. So I guess it will benefit a lot to Goyle and also Ghana in the globality. It's our pleasure to have supplied the designs for the, the terminal and uh, much of the equipment used in the construction of the, of the terminal. We're very excited to see the future of this terminal and the positive impact it will have on infrastructure development in Ghana and the surrounding region. During the construction phase, at each stage, we called in third parties like Bureau Veritas and Global Source to come and cross-check all our welds, our erections, if they did meet the standard. And also, there's also this one-year guarantee at the end of the project um, for maintenance and everything. So we think everything is to the spec. Indeed, the construction industry in Ghana will be the greater beneficiary of Gore's bitumen. The joint venture with SMB of the Ivory Coast is set to produce assorted bitumen products of highest quality. So it's two in one project. Um, the, the storage side, SMB is our partners. Goal has 60%, SMB 40%. We have a second part of the project which belongs to Goal alone, where we are going to do emotions and uh, the PMB, so we are going to process the raw bitumen to get that. We are going to receive a vessel at the port with bitumen. So we have constructed a three kilometer pipeline from the jetty to this facility. So if you follow the line, you realize that when it gets up there, then it tees off into these dedicated tanks that will store the raw bitumen. What happens in the country currently is that some sell the bitumen just like they receive it. But what we are going to do in this facility is that we are going to sell the bitumen as we receive and then also go further to process the bitumen into some other grades. We are going to receive AC10, AC20, process it into polymer modified bitumen and then emulsions. The polymer modified bitumen is going to be the game changer in this industry. So we, in association with a company in the USA called Associated Asphalt, has actually formulated a polymer modified bitumen formulation that will aid us to produce the best PMB you can have on the market. This is our emulsion building. We have two solution tanks. So it means that we have actually formed water, that's hot water, emulsifiers, and then HCL to form a solution into these tanks. Your finished product of emulsions are then stored outside this. So that is basically how the emulsions are prepared. 
For purposes of quality assurance, the facility has in place a modern laboratory. This is our quality control laboratory where all specifications as required by Ghana Highway Authority will be performed. Now we have received all equipment, they are in our storeroom. We are hoping that all the equipment will be installed very soon for us to start the test run on all the specifications that will be required. With such considerably huge investment, health and safety precautions are paramount within this 7,500 metric ton capacity facility owned by Go SMB. All heated areas are very well insulated so that you can touch and you will not get burnt. All our electricals are properly insulated. In the event of a spill, we have a very good underground network of drainage system which we will collect at our interceptor points. We have installed harness points. So when you are climbing, you have a harness hooked onto you as you climb. This is a firefighting system. This system can actually fight fire for at least an hour and a half, even before the Ghana National Fire Service arrives. We have sensors all around, even in the office building. There are fire sensors. We also have uh, thermal cameras dotted all around that are able to tell the highly automated system that there is a potential danger and then this will kick in. That is what we have put in place to fight the most glaring danger that we find. As part of constructing the bitumen plant, Goy looked beyond and together with the community identified what they needed most. Today, Goyle has provided a safer walkway to help community members commune conveniently. There's more on the way as the plant finally starts operating. We make provision for expansion. In a year or two, you can expand the, the facility. You've laid the foundation, all will be needed will be bringing in tanks and putting things together. By the third quarter of this year, food production will start and uh, we'll be selling to the public. We assure our shareholders, especially, that this thing in which their money has been invested is going to start production very soon and they will see the results that is a very good investment that we have made. Very soon the cylinder recirculation plant, uh, the, one, the one in Tema, is about one kilometer from here. That too will start on board. The one in Kumasi will also come on board. And we believe that um, everybody will see that goal. We have made proper investments to help this country. The future looks very bright in the sense that Goyle is committed to going upstream, which is a game changer, you know, in the scheme of things. And uh, I believe that with that kind of integration, Goyle is going to be a much bigger company than uh, we see today. Indeed, the vision of establishing Gore's bitumen plant strategically complements government's decade of roads. Amongst others, the 200 metric ton daily production of polymer modified bitumen, PMB, will enhance the longevity of Ghana's roads and its impact on the economy. Girl sees bitumen as playing a major role in what we have to offer to the Ghanaian economy and the Ghanaian people as a whole. My plea to investors is to be patient. Tell them that the future is bright. It's better to sacrifice today for a better tomorrow. Everything is being made possible to make sure that the company grows from strength to strength. And you know, the rate at which we're going and the things we are committed to achieving, there's no doubt that the shareholder would be the one laughing at the end of the day and they're laughing all the way to the bank. So keep faith, believe in us and we shall deliver. As an ISO certified business, Goyle is set to churn out top bitumen products and at the end of the day, the people of Ghana and by extension West Africa will be the greatest beneficiaries of the Goyle SMB bitumen plant.